Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a Vox hand-drawn animation inside of Fusion. So there are basically two ways. So uh, let me show you the first method, which will use the uh, paint mask tool. So here is my image. And after this media in one, we will add in a transform node. Let's um, create a simple animation on this. So make sure you're at the very first frame, which is frame zero. And in the inspector over here, create a keyframe on center x, y, and the size. And let's move um, 30 frames forward in time and let's zoom in. So let's uh, increase the scale value. And you can pretty much uh, scale in on any person over here. So we will just uh, uh, focus maybe right over here. And let's go to the spline over here and make sure you select all the keyframes. And then click on this icon that says zoom to fit. And then click on this icon that says select all. And then click on the very first icon over here that says smooth. And then you can hit the T key on the keyboard to get the ease in and ease out values and make sure that you ease it into 100 like that. All right, so if you take a look at this animation now, this is how it's going to look. Uh, now the main thing is the animation itself so let's add in a background node so uh, let's add in a background right after the transform and this will result in merge take a look at it so now you can see the background on top right now i'm not going to care about the resolution of the image um, so this is just a weird resolution now this is not a 1080p or a 4k resolution just be careful when you are working with this project make sure it's 1920 or whatever resolution you're working in. So uh, just search for mask paint tool and make sure you connect it to the background. And now your background will disappear. Now over here at the top, you can see we have um, these icons, different icons over here. What we need is the stroke option. So just go ahead and click on it. And also notice that in the modifiers, we have multi stroke one already enabled. And that's because uh, the multi stroke is already enabled over here. So that's why it is visible in the modifiers over here. So you can go ahead and delete this. And you are only, you can see the modifiers is now grayed out. Uh, what we need is the stroke. So if we click on this stroke, and now you can see in the modifiers, the stroke is uh, over here. Now just simply draw around the object that you want to highlight or the person that you want to highlight. So let's just um, hand draw this. So it's just simply create a circle like that. You can see now we have the zoom in animation and now we want to animate the circle. So let's go to the frame 30, which is where the transform keyframe ends. Uh, so we'll go to the mask paint. As we can see, we have actually two different strokes. Uh, don't know why, but uh, let's just disable and see which one is working. Oh, all right. So a stroke two, we don't want that. So we can just delete this in fact. So let's just do that. And let's go to the brush controls over here and you can pretty much change the size and the softness of this brush, change the, uh, change the look of it. You can go to stroke controls and uh, you can change the size like that and increase the spacing as well. But let's just set this to default values. And what we're interested is in the right on over here. So go ahead and animate the right on. So I'm gonna create a keyframe there and set the right on to zero. Go to frame 60 and set the right on to one. And let's go to the spline and make this animation smooth as well. So S, then hit the T key and just ease it in. Let's exit out the spline. And you should see we'll have a animation and then it'll create a hand-drawn circle. Cool, so now that that's first method. I'm going to copy this and paste it over here. This is gonna be our second method. Let's take a look at it. It's the same thing that we did earlier. We will add in a polygon mask, connect it like so. And we will just zoom into the image over here and just simply create points like this. All right, and the last point, I'm gonna just go kind of across like that. We will not connect it to the first point. Let's just go across. Then you just uh, click on this icon that says select all points and then hit S on the keyboard, or you can just click on this icon that will smooth out this shape. Now we have to uncheck solid and increase the border width like that. That's how we'll be able to create this shape. 
if you want to modify it, you just go to the polygon again and you can just move the points around. And as far as the animation goes, we will go to frame 30 and animate the length property. Create keyframe and go to frame 60 and set this to 1. And let's go to the spline and make sure that we add, apply the easing to this. You can see at the very first frame, which is frame 30, we kind of have this um, this polygon already visible. So to fix this, uh, you can either animate the level over here or you can keyframe the border style. So let's go to the level over here. So I'm going to set this to zero, hit keyframe and frame 30, it will be one. Right. So there you go. So if you play the animation now, zoom in and then it will create your um, animation like that. Now, if you want to change the position, you can simply change the center X and Y and increase the size as well. For the stop motion, you can, after this merge here, let's go do this on the very first example of the merge. We will search for stop motion and set the frame repeat to two. That will give you the Vox kind of um, stop motion look to this. And you can do the same thing with this as well. The other example. There you go. One more cool thing that you can do is in the merge over here, you can change the apply mode and set this to like overlay or maybe you want to set this to soft light. That'll give you some interesting results. So for example, uh, you go to background and change the color to red or maybe let's do like a yellowish thingy. That will give you more cool looking result. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, do leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next one.